Hi guys. Okay, so on we go with uh, part three, I believe. Yep, part three. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is have a look at the boot log. Um, on the last part two, we looked at making a dump of the NOR and setting the UR, uh, UR bit. Um, the last one was on a fat PS4 fat, so that was a 16 pin door. Um, we're going to use the slim now, which has got a uh, 8 pin door, but doesn't make any odds anyway. It's um, the same programming, it's just the fact that the 16 pin has to be dealt with with the reset um, if you're going to program it in circuit. That's why I covered it in part two. So whatever your board is, um, you need to find where the TX point or a test point is for the uh, for the UART. Um, on this particular board, it's this little green test point down here, but I'll show you some close up later. Um, this is the slim that I use for doing lots of work. It's a good working board. And what I've done is brought all the various connections out to a test point on the end here, which of course is the, um, uh, if I can get down to it, I'll show you. Oh, just about. We've got the um, Syscon. Can I get any clear, sir? Yeah, it might have trouble focus a little bit because the camera's an overhead. Um, what we've actually got on this board uh, at the moment is, as you can see, I've cut part of the metal away um, from the board. As so you can see, down all down here, it's missing. But what we've actually got on this header here is you've got the NOR, which is on this ribbon cable. Uh, if I see it. Move that over the way, you'll see better. There's the gnaw. Um, this blue lead with the red lead on, um, that is the 3.3, that comes from the 3.3 uh, volt rail. Um, now, what? why that's sitting there, um, it's quite simple. When, we, when I program the gnaw on this machine, you have no power to the box at all. So if you remember, we need to drop the 3.3 volt rail down to 2.6, 2.7. Um, so what I do is basically uh, just disconnect that. At the moment, it's a bit bodge. And I inject the 2.6 volt on the red lead here. What this blue lead is, well, why it's connected to where it is, that's the VCC to the Syscon. Now, that's the pin that you lift off the board on the Syscon for when you're glitching. Now, once you've done the glitching, and if you set the debug bit, then you no longer need to lift that off. And what that's now doing is actually putting the power back to the pin that's lifted off, because it's still lifted off. So that's what that is, in case that didn't make a lot of sense. Um, then next up, we've got the TX and RX for the South Bridge. And then next up to that, we've got the TX and RX, um, which most people call it UR. Now, for reading the UR, we only need the ground pin and the TX pin from the board. Um, the reason I've got more than that connected, it's purely because the cables are stuck together. Now, if we go and have a look at the board, um, let's have a look. There we go. This is the board that uh, you can see in front, well, you can see on the screen in front of you. The uh, edge connectors at the top, uh, that's the only difference. The connection that the TX is, is the green lead and the green spot. That's where you need to look for the test point if you're on an SAD um, 001 board. If not, what you can do, if you Google it, uh, your board, 
um, UART points, you'll find there'll be loads of information floating about. Uh, typically, there's one here showing the SAE123. Um, the mark is Mark UART TX there. So it's only the TX you're going to need for this. Um, I haven't got any others in it. Let's have a look. Let's see what else we got. Uh, yeah, SA004. Um, so going back the other way. Um, where was we? I was on this particular one, wasn't I? Uh, MVB. And then look for the, uh, you want the TXUR point. Once you've found that, you need to connect a lead to it. Um, and that lead will then go to the RX on the UR. Right, the UR sat by the side here. And basically, all you'll need is two leads. You'll need the ground pin and you'll need a wire connected to the RX on the UR. And then from the UR, the ground goes obviously to the ground point on the chassis, or a ground point. And the RX from the UR goes to the TX point, which is on the board. Now, this is all you need to do for an actual uh, a boot log. Um, the unit's all powered because it actually powers on. That's how you take the log. So what we'll do, that's connected. So now all we need to do is power this thing up. Now, you can get the UART Reader software. I think it's free. Um, it's on the BW's website. Um, let's have a look. As you can see, it's picked up a bit of random data. That's just where I've been poking it about. So now I'm going to just start the machine up. Um, if I've done this correctly, we should see. There we go. Lots of data, and um, that's now booting. And it's very much the same as Linux, so you can see what's um, what's being loaded, what isn't. If it stops, uh, if it can't find something, it will stop, um, and invariably it will give you an idea as to where the problem is. Um, it will tell you if the file, if the memory is faulty. Um, because it won't boot, it will come up with merit now. But hang on, it wants me to push the button. Okay, uh, it's just a login screen. Um, also, with the UART, when you run the NOR software, which is what you can use by renting by the day, um, which I showed in part two, I mentioned on there an option, I think it was nine, there was quite a lot of other flags you can set. There's sort of memory test flags you can set. There's all sorts of things you can set. Um, and then right back to the NOR. And then by enabling the UART, then it enables us to do what you're seeing there. So basically, I don't want to go to... Throw, I mean, it, it, it takes too long to go through all the details of the, uh, the boot log. So what we'll do... Uh, shut down... Um, it's I'll leave it to you to you know have a go yourselves. So, in short, all we've got to do, if I go back to a board or see if I can find you some more information, let's have a little look. Basically, all we've got to do is just find the board that you're using, um, and Google. UART points or UART test points. There's so many posts out there of the test points, you shouldn't have any problem finding them. It's uh, the TX you want on the board, and you connect that to the RX on the uh, UART. This is an FTDI UART. I think it's probably one of the best, and it's probably about three or four quid. Amazon do it. Uh, it's a great little bit of kit. So that is the boot log in a nutshell. Uh, here's a few of the boards, so you can uh, hopefully find the one you want. If not, let us know and I'll see if I can help.